Hello everybody. Booba Lady Charlotte here. Headed home from work. It was a good day. It was. It was. Learned some new stuff. Learned a few shortcuts on my own. It was a good day. Like Ice Cube saying, today was a good day. Okay. All right. You know what? I got some shades that I carry in this bag that I can put on to keep the sun out of my eyes. I never put on my shades. Not really. Because if I put on my shades, then I can't see real good because I need glasses. Let me dig. See what I got down in here. Okay, let me try these. I need my glasses though. Oh, they do make shade glasses, don't they? Okay, the sun ain't bother me. Let's just, let's just hope I stay on my side of the road, right? All right, some of you guys want to hear how Scotty Hottie and I met. Um, I wanted him to do the video with me, but he worked so late. He don't get out till like 8.30 sometimes. And by that time, I'm sleepy. Um... So I may have to make it without him. One of the subscribers asked me to tell him about Mr. Scary Rogers. Mr. Scary Rogers has been fine lately. I guess since uh, Scotty Heidi and I have been dating, he ain't got two words to say to me. Cat, dog, kiss my butt, nothing. Nothing. That's all right. That's all right. Other than that, he's doing fine. He is. I noticed that the, um, the other neighbor was running from him. Cause she, you know, I told you guys about that. When she would head off to that mailbox, if she wasn't back in time, he have his little high water bridges on, picking them up, putting them down, getting down there to that uh, mailbox, and walking her back. But um, anyway, let's see. Oh, I'm gonna go home tonight and try to cook some lamb shoulders. I emailed myself a, a recipe that I seen at the job. I'm going to put it in that, that little electric crock pot. Can I make that? They're going too damn fast. I can't make that one. They're going too damn fast. People probably going to blow me back there behind me. But this is a four banger. I can't I can't get no speed up. By the time I turn the little sharp corner, the car will be on my damn back. Oh, thinking about being on your back. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. My sister was telling me the funniest thing. She was telling me that at the hospital here in this area, Charlotte Memorial, well, I knew it at Charlotte Memorial Hospital, but they call it Charlotte, Maine now, I think. I don't know. And we were, we were just talking about, well, we, this, this is not funny, but we were talking about the shooting at the hospital in Chicago, and Lord bless all those people involved, bless their families, and Lord give them peace of mind and send the comfort to them. But... We were talking, she was talking about that here in Charlotte. Charlotte, Maine ain't playing that. I said, what you mean? Are my headlights on? Oh, I got my shades on. It's so damn dark. So she said at Charlotte Memorial, she said they security guards big. They, they beefed up. They got guns. They big. She said they rolled like three or four deep. I said, remember we used to be able to go to the hospital and and go up on the baby floor and look at the newborn babies and ooh and ah with them and, and is that your baby? Oh, that's a pretty baby. She said, now, if you don't have badges or clearance or something, your, your badge don't match your baby's identification, or she said, if you didn't have a baby and you ain't expecting no baby, don't go up there if you're not a media family. Don't you think you're just going up there, just go look at some babies? I said, well, that used to be the fun thing to do. Go look at the babies on the ninth floor. But she said Charlotte Memorial got it locked down now. And I guess because of all the craziness, and I ain't gonna lie, Charlotte, they pretty rough sometimes. Okay, you just gonna back out on the street in front of me. Everybody just backing out in front of me. You know what the Houdini going on around here? I'm gonna have to take these shades off. Get dark too early. Anyway, so that's Ixnay on the hospital yay to go see the baby yays. See, we never did learn how to speak pig Latin, so 
my family, we made up our own pig leg. <laughs> and that's pretty much how you do it. You just add yay on the end. Ixnay on the hospital yay to see the baby yays. We, we just, my family just make up stuff. <sighs> Thinking about making up stuff, rolling on. Y'all know how senior citizens make up their own words. I think that's pretty much going to be me. That's pretty much going to be me. They just, I remember one time I heard this man say, yeah, I used to go up to Virginia's all the time. I say, Virginia's? You used to go to, to visit Virginia's? Virginia's? He said, yeah, all the time. It's just right up the road, upside 77. It ain't far from here. I said, oh. They just make up anything. We pretty much do now anyway. It's just called Senior Ebonics. That's all it is. You got the Senior Ebonics going down. That's all. Now, let's roll on to Thanksgiving. This year, I'm not cooking anything and I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to be at my house. I want to lay down and be at my house. Y'all realize how expensive Thanksgiving is? I mean, let's be real. Let's be real. Okay, so we had the massive floods this summer. And I might have not even been the summer. Not too long ago. And a lot of livestock was lost. A lot of crops were lost due to the flooding and all that. So you know everything high now. Super high. They lost a lot of chickens and pigs and cows and whatever else animal you eat. They lost it. Well, I guess there's an abundance of turtles. Turtles survive anywhere. So you can eat turtles. I ain't never eat turtle, but that's not to say I won't eat turtle. You prepare them right, or do like my grandma used to do. Anything smothered in gravy and onions, served over top of rice, it's good. That's just the bottom line. But anyway, so now the ingredients that you gotta buy, we'll say the the. Okay, I was gonna call it what I normally call. Okay, I'm gonna just say it. I'm gonna just say it. But I don't mean nothing by it. But this is what I call it. I call it the old people stuffing. I like the old people stuffing. Because I'm going to be one of the old people. And I need, I was telling Heidi Scotty last night, I need to learn how to make this damn stuff. The old people stuff because I am getting to be one of the old people. I'll be 50 next year. And y'all know that. But anybody that meet me in person going to hear that I'm 46, 47. As long as my looks keep up. I'm going to hover around in that pool for a while. Float over there with my floaty in the 46, 47s area. Depending on how I feel that day. But y'all who know me know that I will be 50 next September. So, I need to learn how to make the stuffing. I should have known already by now, but I've been busy doing other things. You know the stuff I'm talking about. The one that's got the meat in it, the giblets, and uh, got the egg, the egg whites in it. And so much damn sage, the, the thing is green. It ain't even cornbread color no more. It's just green. And it's packed down low and tight. And it's heavy as hell. You eat that? You get your block of that? One, you're going to be constipated. Two, it tastes so damn good. Three, you just wait till next time. Oh, no, no, you hope you get it again at Christmas. That's when you get it again at Christmas. It's got everything in there, all the meats. Now, I can make a stuffing, but I ain't mine ain't green yet. See, I know I'm going I'm to be able to make the old people stuffing when my stuffing is green. I just don't really like the, sage, the taste of sage stuff. But the old people stuffing just got the right balance. But it's green. Green as the Grinch. Dark green at that. I think they put some egg in it too. I think they bake an egg in it. I don't know. I'm going to have to pull it up because I'm sure my kids going to be wanting me to make that as soon as I figure out how to make it. Okay, baby. Come on. Let me get up now. Get up. We have 45. Them fools up there doing about, about 80. We got to get up, baby. We have 55 now. I know. I'm a little rough on you. On your throat. I'm stepping on your throat. I'm so sorry, honey. So sorry. Oh, let me check. Let me check. Check the weather on that. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Anyway, I'm gonna go home and get this drive home, and I need to concentrate. Take these damn shades off so I can see. Oh, it's dark. It's too early. I need to see these people shade. Um. Also, um, if anybody would care to tell me how to change the time on my clock from a Nissan Versa 2016. I would appreciate it if you leave that in the comment section so I can take the phone out to the car and change my time. Because they don't they really tell you nothing. I'm still looking at 612. It's 512. Okay, I'm going to go. 
to talk to you guys. Maybe, maybe I'll talk to you later, because I know Daddy Hutt ain't going to be in the house. So. I might be able to talk to you. I don't know. No, I got to cook my lamb. I got to cook my lamb shorts. Yeah, and do, my, do my stuff with my lamb shorts. All right. I'll talk to you guys a little bit. All right, bye.